and thanks for joining me. Um, in this segment, I want to delve a little bit deeper into our understanding of sublevels in atomic structure. Um, now, at the um, in an earlier video, I talked about S, P, D, and F. So if you are in AP or IB chemistry, you should have seen these already um, in a prior class. And I want to talk a little bit more of these in terms of what's called the radial distribution function. What this does is it's a two-dimensional picture of the probability of finding an electron within a given region in space. And so ultimately, <clears throat> we would call that psi squared. That's the wave function squared. And ultimately, that's going to um, lead us into orbitals. So if I looked at this for an S, um, I would find, you know, this would be the distance, or R, the distance from the nucleus, the radius of the atom, you might see something like this. It's going to be kind of spread out, and it's going to be closer um, to the nucleus. So that's what I'm talking about. But let me shift to the winter orbital site to give you what I think will be a little bit better picture. This is one of my favorite sites when talking about um, the electronic structure. So if this is an S um, sublevel, um, we could draw the radial distribution, just to give you an idea, like this. So it's most probable, uh, you know, at a particular distance, and then it tails off as you get further away. In other words, it's not defining this very sharp region in space. Um, of finding your electron. Now, let's go up. This would be 1s, but let's take a look at what happens when you go to 2s. You increase the energy level. Now what we see, it's you can think of it like those Russian dolls that are nested together. So let me see if I can get this a little bit bigger to help you um, see this. So. All right, now, in this case, what we would have is something called a node. And in a node, <clears throat> we actually have a region in space where there is zero probability of finding an electron. So if you looked at your radial distribution function for this, it might look something like this. There's a finite chance of finding that electron close to the nucleus, but on average, the probability increases as you get further away from the nucleus. Now, that sharp line right here, where there's a zero, it goes to zero, approaches zero, that's called, get a better color for you, that's called a node. A region in space where there's zero probability of finding an electron with a given energy. Okay, so now the 2s has one node. So now if you look at the 3s, so the 1s has zero nodes, the 2s has one node, the 3s, hopefully you're seeing that pattern, you see the 3s has two nodes. And so if you looked at its radial distribution function, there's a tiny probability and a little bit more probability and then a lot of probability further away from the nucleus. And you would have two nodes, two regions in space, where there's a zero probability of finding that electron. All right, and four no, you know, 4s would have four nodes, five would have, or excuse me, 4s would have three nodes, five would have four and so forth. Now let's look at the P's. With the P's, okay, you would also have a certain probability of finding um, the electron with a given energy. And it's a misconception. If I have 2s, it's a misconception that the P's will be further away. They do have um, 
a, a different potential energy, but in terms of distance, um, they're not further away. They just have a higher potential energy, um, but they're not too far away. Uh, in this one, we're not seeing the nodes. Let's take a look at the three S, excuse me, three P's, and you start to see those nodes, those region and space where there's a zero probability of finding an electron. So you'll see nodes in the P's and the D's and the F's as well, right? So hopefully this gives you just, you know, a little deeper um, insight into how we're going to be describing those. So understanding that radial distribution function of psi squared, I think is, is very important. You should be, I don't, didn't do a good job of getting all the way to zero there, but let's see if I can do a better job of that. So get to zero and then up. So there's still a finite chance of being near the nucleus, um, but as you increase n, you're getting further and further away that most of the time is spent further from the nucleus. So um, hopefully this gives you a little deeper insight. Thanks for joining me.